What's up, you guys? This is Mary with HBI High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my friends, subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Leo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is um, a reading from Sana Leo for December of 2022. This could resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Earth, Moon, many of your chart. Stuff is the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for Santa Leo. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, I really do. Um, if you like to um, donate, it's High Priestess 5 And I appreciate all the love and support for the channel. I do. This is for Santa Leo. Um, I did hear Leo, then I got a channel message. It's about a Leo child. So uh, I'm going to do it. I'm not putting it on hashtag Leo Gang. I'm going to do it for the sign readings on the main channel. So just saying, just saying. Okay, so the channel message I received was for the side of uh, Leo for December 2022. I heard uh, a Leo child is about to incur a medication, significant medication change soon. Um, I heard it's um, been a long, um, yeah, I heard it's been a long time coming. Um, at, at least a month time coming. At least, I heard it's been a long time coming, but I just heard now it's been a month time coming for it. So it's been at least a month since it should have happened, I guess. At least a month. Um, for some, it might be a month or more. I heard at least a month. At least a month time coming, but a long time coming. With medication, a month is a long time. And that's just the truth. Especially if it's raw medicine. A month is a long time. So I can see that. Because I have children. And um, trust me, it took a long time for my son's ADHD medication to be figured out. Years through many ADHD medications, and uh, I did behavioral therapy with him before even deciding to put him on um, ADHD medicine, um, so I understand that. A month is a long time in a child's life, um, and a parent's life, um, having to monitor it, so I get it, but I heard at least a month, so, um, but I heard it's, uh, it's coming soon, so it should have happened at least a month ago, if not longer for some of you guys, but it's coming soon. For some, I feel you might could advocate Maybe it's your child or your grandchild or a child you care about, or maybe you're a healthcare professional or a mental health professional or something, and you're going to advocate for this child. Um, how that resonates and applies. It is a Leo child. It's a Leo child. They can have Leo in any aspects of their charts, sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, moon, and hand with Jupiter charts, but somehow you're connected to this Leo child, whether you're the parent, the grandparent, uh, mental health professional, medical professional, however that resonates. Um, it should have happened at least a month ago, I heard, um, but it sounds like it's upcoming soon. Spirit messages you have a sign of Leo. It's about to make huge, positive, significant changes in this child's life. It's a teenager. Leo teenager. Okay, I heard it's uh, going to make huge, positive, significant changes in this Leo child's life. It's a Leo teenager. So, it's a Leo teenager. Um, however, you're connected to this Leo teenager. And it's about to make huge, positive, significant changes in the Leo teenager's life. How that resonates and applies. It hasn't happened yet, but I will tell you, it, sh it should have happened at least a month ago, but for some reason it hasn't. So, um, how that resonates and applies. But the, the good part is it's about to happen now. That's good. In a high vibrational Leo fam, many people are getting huge wake-up calls on your family and community members. This is about to benefit you in a huge way. Okay, and for one of you guys, you're a high vibrational Leo fam, and many people are getting a huge wake-up call on your toxic family and your community members. For some of you Leo fans, it could be your toxic family or your community members. For some, it could be both. But how that resonates and applies your high vibrational, so you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Um, I don't think you go around hurting or harming person or people or situations or what have you, what have you, but many people, so not just one or two energies, many energies are getting huge wake up calls on your toxic family, your community, or both. How that resonates and applies high vibrational Leo fam. And I know I have a lot of you high vibrational Leo fans on my channel, a lot, so. Okay.
an Aries is getting a really huge wake up call. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. You're a very high vibrational Leo fam. An Aries is getting a very huge wake up call. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. You're a very high vibrational Leo fam. So some kind of Aries energy that can have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, will thumb, and hand your charts. Mask or them Aries, um, whoever this Aries is to you, Leo, your high vibrational Leo fam. They're getting a huge wake up call. I heard it's about to benefit you in a positive way. Love. Holy crap, you pulled love. Number 47 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 47 it could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number. Number 47, love. So, um, maybe for some, you're in a relationship with the Aries, or you're about to be, or, you know, this doesn't have to be romantic love. This could just be love of you as a person, or love of, yeah, love as you of a, as a person. Like, um, um, just love in the universe. It doesn't have to be this Aries. It could be the Aries. That's who I'm pulling in, this Aries and a Leo child. Uh, for some, I think you might um, not like weirdly love the Leo child, but you care about the Leo child enough to help advocate for them, possibly. Um, and for some, um, maybe you get into a romantical situation with the Aries, or you already are, or um, maybe. Um, you maybe the Aries cares for you. Uh, we have love. We're pulling in Leo child and Aries, or it could be anybody. How that resonates in the class. I'm surprised we pulled love. <laughs> we haven't got love um in one of the sign readings in a while for the um in Oracle card. We we just haven't. Um but um for anybody doesn't know Leo's rule the heart chakra. They they do. Now they're now are there cold calculated Leos out there? Spiteful, mean, malicious, cold, calculated Leos out there? Absolutely. Freaking loose. That's how you grow and manifest yourself. But typically, Leos rule the heart chakra. If you are in proper chakra alignment and vibration. Um, and that's just the truth. All right. For some, I feel you can be dealing with an earth sign or a water sign. If you are, they can have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Haven, Jupiter charts. If you are, uh, Leo. Fever. Your sister has been strategically distancing themselves from you. For one, you're a teenager. For one, you're an adult. Soon, they're going to come towards you and be more loving towards you, more kind towards you, and tell you some important truth. It's going to make you feel so much better. You have been mentally manipulated. In the past. Okay, so you play in how it resonates. So for one, you're a teenager. One, you're an adult. Um, so teenagers are 13 to 19. For some, I feel you be 18, 19. For some, however, however that resonates. Um, you have to be 18 to watch this video. Just saying, just saying. Um, but, um, disclaimer. But one, you're a teenager. One, you're an adult. So 18 plus. But how this resonates, um, Leo, whether you're a masculine or femme teenager, masculine or femme adult, your sister. So, in this aspect, this is sisterly love. This is sisterly love. Um, I heard they've been kind of cold and not cold, but like detached from you. Uh, they've been detached from you and strategically keeping their distance from you, basically. Um, but I heard soon they're about to come towards you with lots of love and caring and affection. And I, I don't feel this is an incest kind of way. I feel this is a sisterly love kind of way. Um, and I heard it's going to make you feel better. It's going to make you feel better. Um, I think you might have once been close to your sister or uh, or something of that nature. Um, how that resonates and applies. But I heard they're about to come tell you some serious truth. 
And I heard that's going to make you feel a lot better about the past and um, reveal some information to you and um, um, some kind of sisterly love energy. So for some, I feel your sister could be an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or a water sign, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some, they could be any other sign, okay? But they've been distant from you emotionally with the love energy um, in the past for strategic reasons. But they're about to come towards you soon. Um, closer. Not in an incesty way. I don't think this is an incesty way. I just think in an emotional heart space kind of way. It's going to give you a huge wake-up call about people in your family. Being able to think clearly now. Okay, so your sister about to come towards you is about to give you a huge wake-up call about people in your family. You'll be able to think clearly now. So in the past, I don't think you'll be able to, you were able to think clearly about person, people, place, or situation. But once your sister comes towards you with information and emotional energy and love and affection, you'll be able to think clearly about certain family member members in your family now. Um, how that resonates in a box. Love. I'm sorry, not love. Well. And for one, you're about to get a huge spurt of energy, a huge spurt of energy. About to start asking to do things you would have, uh, you have not been asking to do. For some, you're about to get out and start doing things you haven't been doing. Okay, huge spurt of energy coming. So huge spurt of energy, whether you're going to ask to do certain things or you're just going to get out and do certain things. Uh, whether, you know, you have to ask to do them or you can just get out and do them yourself. But huge burst of energy. I feel hiking, biking, um, jogging, walking, exercising. Maybe it's a side hustle or two. Maybe it's a job. Maybe it's a business. I mean, however that resonates and applies. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Well, Leo is about to get huge wake-up calls about certain family members and community members that are huge narcissists. They're a position of high authorities in your community, but through many series of chain events, some of these people are about to have a huge downfall. Some, you're about to hear about it through unexpected ways. For some, you're about to learn about it on the news. For some, you're about to see it on social media. Whoa, so position downfalls of position high authority narcissist in your community or family. How that resonates and applies. Some they're in your family, some they're in your community. Um, they're leaders, position they're leaders, position of high authorities right now, either in your family, in your community, or in your family outside your community, or people in your community. But you're about to learn about the downfall of these narcissists, whether they're in your family or not in your family, in your community, not in your community. Okay. Um, some are about to be shocking. Some are about to be shocking. So some of these downfalls are about to be shocking. But how that resonates, um, you're about to learn about them. I heard it in unexpected ways. For some, you're about to learn about them on social media, some on the news, some in other unexpected ways. Um, so how that resonates and applies, wow. Heavy narcissistic. It's like abuse of power. Um, but they're about to have a downfall. Throne, position of authority.
For one, you're a position of high authority and you will continue to rise. Okay, for one of you guys, you're a position of high authority. For one, you're going to continue to rise. For one, you're a position of authority that's about to make a report on abuse of a family in your community. Okay, so for one, you're a position of high authority and you're going to continue to rise. I feel that could be a good position of authority. I think it's in a 3D workspace and um, and that could be in any avenue, profession, career, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. For one, you're a position of authority about to make a report on abuse of a family in the past. So only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. Only you know if you're going to make a an official report, official report. Only you know if you're going to make an official report on abuse of family in the past or not. I think you have love for the family. I don't think in a creepy deepy kind of way. I just think like an emotional heart chakra, heart space kind of way. And I think you know it was wrong. They were abused. And that's why you're about to make the official report. And it's going to move fast. And it's going to move fast. So the official report's going to move fast. Um, whoever's about to do that. Uh, masculine Fem Leo. Uh, for some, you could be a position of high authority making the official report. For some, you don't have to be a position of authority. But um, definite official reporting energy here, but it's because of love of the family that was abused in the past. And for one, through many series of chain of events, you're about to start a new position. And it's about to move very fast in a positive way for you. You will level up quickly. You don't think you will, but you will. Okay, and for one of you guys, you're about to start a new job, um, a new position, a new position. Um, and I heard um, it's going to move fast. You don't think you will. Uh, you don't think it will, but it will. And I heard you're going to level up quickly. So I think you're going to level up quickly to a position of authority, possibly, or um, is what I think. Um, you haven't started the new position yet. But you're about to. And um, I heard you don't think you're going to level up quickly, but you will. So I think you're going to be excited when all this happens so quickly. Whoever you are, I think you uh, like achieving goals, dreams, aspirations, goal, you know, goal-oriented kind of person. And if you put the hard work in, you should reap the rewards. And that's just the truth. And um, and that's the truth. Now, does it happen that way a lot in the um, sometimes in the universe? No. No, but that is the way it should happen. But it sounds like whoever this is for, it's it's going to happen this way this time. Now, whether it's happened, you've been done dirty in the past or not, I don't know. But it, it sounds like it's going to happen that way this time. Lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. An older Cancer Feminine is about to move out of your neighborhood soon. You never thought she would, but she's about to. She heavily tried to manipulate you in the past, but she's about to rent out the home and move. Okay, so one of you guys, you have an older Cancer Femme that lives in your neighborhood. Um, this could be the whale energy. She's older. Um, maybe she's an elder or... Um, or something of that nature. She's about to rent out her home. So that could be leader of her her home space there. Um, she Obviously the home is rent. I feel the home is paid off. Or she's able to have enough money to move. And then rent it out. So financial leadership of her home. But she's an older cancer femme. But um, I heard she tried to heavily manipulate you in the past. She does not like you. Because she cannot manipulate you. I heard she doesn't like you because she can't manipulate you. I heard she doesn't like you because she can't manipulate you, but she's about to move out of your neighborhood soon. Um, but I heard it's going to benefit you. I think it's going to make you excited. But I heard you never thought it would happen. You never thought she would move. But I heard she's about to. Um, how that resonates and applies. She can have cancer in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, having a Jupiter charts. Um, she... I think you're about to see a for sale sign. Well, no, not a for sale sign. I think you might see a for rent sign in the front yard or a moving truck or someone coming to help her move her things out or what have you, what have you. And I didn't hear where she's moving, but she's moving out of the neighborhood that you currently live in. And it sounds like it's either a single family home, a condo, a duplex or what have you, what have you. 
But she's angry at you, Leo, because she tried to heavily manipulate you in the past. And um, it wasn't, she wasn't able to do so. It's actually about to backfire on her in a huge way. It's actually about to backfire on her in a huge way. So her trying to mani heavily manipulate you in the past is actually about to backfire on her. But she's angry at you. She has no love for you, Leo. You live in her neighborhood. She knows good things are about to come for you. And she doesn't want it. She knows good things are about to come for you and she doesn't want it. So she's, she's a neighbor that doesn't like you. She's angry, secretly angry and jealous of you. She doesn't want, she knows good things are coming for you, but she doesn't want to tell, she doesn't want them to come for you. So she, she's like an angry neighbor. My God. Control anger. Or, uh, but I don't think she comes off like she's an angry neighbor. I don't think she goes out there yelling and screaming and doing the most of you. I think this is like passive aggressiveness or silent seething is what I feel. Control your anger or you'll be sorry. But somehow it's about to backfire on her. Um, I don't, um, however it's about to backfire on her, I don't know. But I think you're going to be excited when she moves because I don't, I mean, I don't think y'all are buddy, buddy pals, obviously. So. Control your anger or you will be sorry. For one, some very angry people are about to come to you in a workplace soon. Very angry. It's about to take you by surprise. Transmute the energy. Okay, so for one of you guys, you work in 3D workspace. Um, for one of you guys, um, somebody's about to, it uh, sounds like several people are about to come to you very angrily in a 3D workspace. Um, I heard it be smart to transmute the energy, so they're going to come towards you. I think it's two or two plus people, Leo. Very, very angry. I'm feeling it might be like a customer complaint or a patient complaint or uh, if it's not a complaint, it's just anger energy. Um, like maybe they're gossiping. Maybe they're just pissed. Maybe they're, I don't know. Maybe they stepped in dog poop in the morning. I don't know. But two or two plus people are about to come to you very angry in a workspace situation. I heard be smart to transmute the energy. So transmute the energy is changing the energy to benefit you in your favor. For anybody doesn't know that. For some of you could be position of authorities. They're about to come to so angrily, possibly. There is about to be a serious error, a serious error. It needs to be fixed now. And it will happen soon. Okay, some kind of serious error. I guess that's why they're going to come to you angry. Two or two plus people. Leo, Master Fem Leo, there's some kind of serious error. It sounds like it's about to occur in the universe. It needs to be fixed now. So whatever serious error that is in the, your 3D workspace, that needs to be fixed now. I think you're a position of authority. One, you're a case manager. One, you're an RN. One, you're a case manager. One, you're an RN. One, you work in a restaurant. And one, you work in a restaurant. And one, you work in a restaurant. When you're a case manager, which case managers can be RNs or they can be other occupations um, like LCSW. Um, so I feel you're like L LCSW or, or RN or if you're a case manager. Um, and for one, you are RN. And for one, you are a manager of something. So that could be position of authority too. But some kind of serious error needs to be fixed now, whatever this is. Two or two plus people about to come towards you quickly. And for one, you're about to be set up in a workplace situation. A very jealous person wants your position, but they're not telling you this. 
It's a water sign that wants your position. They're in the process of setting you up right now. You're about to... You're about to notice very strange things occurring in your workplace. You work in a hospital. They want your position and they are play dirty and you know they do. And they're about to stop at nothing to get it. You're about to experience very strange things happening all across the board soon. You are a case manager. I'm pulling heavy case manager energy. Oh, my God. Okay. So, for one, you're a case manager at a hospital. And um, a water sign wants your position. And I heard you know they play dirty. They are about to, they're playing dirty with you. And they're about going to continue to play dirty with you. So, behind the scenes, dirty with you. Case manager, um, Leo. Okay? You work in a hospital. Whether you're LCSW, RN, or whatever you are. Okay? You know they have a history of playing dirty. This Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It's a feminine fem. Cancer Pisces Scorpio fem. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and have a Jupiter charts. But you know they play dirty. You know their history of them playing dirty, basically. So you know how they roll. But they're about to target you. They're about to target you because they want your position as a case manager in a hospital, apparently. And I heard you're about to notice very strange things occur all across the board for you. It sounds like when you get to work or regarding your work or somebody or your position or something going on with you, and your position as a case manager in a hospital. But just know, if you, hopefully you can identify who this water sign is, water sign fem is, it's her doing it or causing it. Uh, it's Cancer Pisces Scorpio fem. She could have Cancer Pisces Scorpio and her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or fem, and having her charts. But she wants your position as a case manager, ma'am, or sir. Uh, you're a Leo fem. You're a Leo fem. You're a Leo fem. I felt you were a ma'am, but you're a Leo fem. Um, Caddy behind the scenes trying to, she wants your position as case manager. So I think it's going to make you upset when all these awry things about to start happening to you. But just know it's her. But I think you know who this person is because I heard she has a history of being vile. Vile and sneaky and deceptive and when it all costs um, deceptive energy. I think you can... You're going to be able to identify this person. Hopefully, you can identify it and get somebody else to help you identify if she's sabotaging you. Um, or she's just setting you up. She's setting you up. If you can identify, if you can figure out who this person is, you know inside yourself who this person is. But if you can tar uh, identify and target who this person is, you can probably get some help to stop this. Okay, I heard you know inside yourself who this person is, but if you can identify, correctly identify who this person is, I'm sure there's probably a lot of people you work around, case manager Leo, but, um, Leo Fem, but if you can correctly identify who this person is, I, I think you work around a lot of snakes, is what I'm saying. She's a snake. She's a snake. But I think you work around a lot of snakes. So I think you need to correctly identify the right snake, the right water sign snake. And I heard if you do, you can probably get some help. But she's in the process of setting your ass up because she wants a job as case manager. You're a Leo fem. You work in a hospital. Oh, my God. And I think it's going to make you angry because weird shit's going to start happening to you. By people you would have never expected. She's highly manipulative, and you know this. By people you would have never expected. She's highly manipulative, and you know this. Somebody needs to be careful. You're a Leo fem. You're around a bunch of snakes in a hospital. She wants your job. Firecracker, excitement. For one, you're about to get a Christmas bonus. For one, you're about to get a shocking phone call from the police department. But it's going to benefit you in a positive way. For one, you're about to get a Christmas bonus. And for one, you're about to get a shocking phone call from the police department. But I heard it's going to positively benefit you. So, 
Okay, so for one, you're about to get a Christmas bonus. I think you're going to love the Christmas bonus. Um, congratulations, whoever that's for. And for one, you are about to um, get a shocking phone call from the police. Police, uh, your local police or not. I don't know if it's your local police. I didn't hear local police. But from a police department. I'm feeling for some, a lot of you guys, it's probably your local police department. For some, it could be another police department. But how that resonates, it's going to positively affect benefit you so i think it's gonna make you excited i think they're gonna give you some kind of information um or or yeah i definitely think it's information i think it might make you angry but it's gonna positively affect you so i think you might press charges i didn't hear you're going to but what it, i mean there's a reason you're about to get a shocking phone call from the police department Obviously, criminal activity, I'm presuming, or an investigation or something, but it's gonna you're going to be on the positive side of the karmic wheel on that. So even though it might make you angry, the information they're going to tell you, I think it's going to um, excite you because you'll probably be able to press charges or t uh, maybe a lawsuit or something like that. Um, it is about to be life-changing information. It is about to be life-changing information. So whatever this is, it's. I think it's going to make you angry, but it's going to be life-changing information. I think you're going to be able to take positive forward legal steps here, uh, whatever this is, and how this applies, okay? Um, kudos to you. Excitement? And for one, a holiday party is about to become very significant. For one, a holiday party is about to become very significant. Hopefully, you don't get drunk, uh, slap drunk in the punch. I'm <laughs> just saying, just saying. But for one of you guys, the holiday party is about to become significant. Okay, so I think it might make you excited. Hopefully, you don't, you don't, you know, you know, don't drink way too many. Um, not, you know, the one they're taking the pictures of while you're slap ass drunk over there by the eggnog. Just saying, just saying. But only you know who you're going to act at this holiday party, not anybody else. But I think it's going to make you excited. Or there might be some kind of conflict at this holiday party. Um, I think there might be some drama with the anger and the excitement with the holiday party. But aren't there usually at holiday parties? And that's just the truth. You get a bunch of people in there with different personalities and different backgrounds. And it reminds me of like the office, just saying. And for one, through many series of chain of events, you're about to find huge information out. You'll finally, you'll be able to file a lawsuit. A very significant lawsuit. A very winning lawsuit. And for one, through many series of chain of events, you're about to finally find out, find out very significant information. I heard you're about to, uh, once you find it out, you'll be able to file, uh, file a significant lawsuit. I heard a very significant lawsuit. Um, Life-changing, positive life-altering news for you and i heard it will be a winning lawsuit so i think you're on the positive side of that if uh, you resonate with that leo i think it's gonna make you excited love a mother's love a leo's mother love mother's love is about to become very significant to a leo child and a mother's love of a Leo is about to become very significant in a positive way. Okay, so a mother's love, a Leo's mother's love of a child is about to become very significant. So for one, your mother, a uh, Leo mother, and your love of your child or children, I heard child, but for some it could be two or two, two, two or two plus children, is about to become very significant. So mother's love, you are Leo mother, mother's love to your child, or I'm assuming it's your child, but you plug in how it resonates. For one of you guys, you are Leo, masculine and Leo, and your mother's love is about to become significant to you. So love, your mother's love towards you is about to become significant. So your mother's love towards you, Leo, okay? It's going to shock you. She's actually going to tell you a lot of truth. It's going to soften up that heart a little bit. Okay, so for the Leo where your mother is about to come in and give deliver you some mother love, mother's love, it's going to be a lot of truth. A lot of truth she's about to deliver you, but I heard it's actually going to soften up your 
heart and heart there. Maybe you have a heart and heart towards her or towards some a situation or something. But I heard whatever truth she's about to deliver you, it will be shocking. It will be shocking. It will be shocking, but it's going to harden up that heart of yours. I think your heart's been a little hard towards either her or towards a situation or something. And it's going to basically melt your little heart a little bit. Um, but it will be shocking news, whatever it is. Okay. You're a Leo, masculine Leo, and it's your mother about to deliver you some information, some real truth, some real truth. Okay. I heard it's going to be shocking, but it's going to soften your heart a little bit. So, um, it might make you angry or excited. The truth, how that resonates implies, but it sounds like you've got like a, not a hard heart, but I think of like a heart with like ice around it right now, or it's refrigerating or freezing. Um, and it's going to start thawing how that resonates with that. And for one of you Leos, you have a, online public platform a terror reading channel and someone is getting a huge ass wake up call that they have not been treating you right they're about to make some changes okay so for one of you guys you have an online public platform terror reading channel and you have a um, clientele base and basically at least one of the clients if not two or two plus are about to get a huge wake up call that they have not been treating you right and i heard they're about to make some huge changes so love of you or love of your terror channel and they have not been treating you right in some shape form or fashion i feel like abuse or um or i don't know i don't know what it is but they have not been treating you right i feel they might have been taking the information and running and not maybe properly um saying thank you or do donating to you properly or you give 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 and they don't give anything um, how that resonates and applies like an imbalanced situation, but how that resonates, they're about to make some changes. So because they do love your channel or love you as a person or what have you, what have you. Okay. All right. I'm closing this out. Let me see if I hear anything else. Through many series of chain of events, a Leo is about to find out about several family members about to be jailed. And a Leo is about to find out about somebody already in jail. Through ways you would have never expect soon. Okay, so for one of you guys, you're about to find out about somebody already in jail. And for one of you guys, you're about to find out about some of your family members about to go to jail. Uh, the one in jail could be a family member or not a family member, but um, you're going to find out through some kind of shocking way um, that they're already in jail or not in jail, whether they're your family member or not your family member. How that resonates and applies. Um, you don't know they're in jail yet or the ones that are about to go in jail. You don't, I mean, you don't know they're going, I'm assuming yet, or they're already there. Whether the one in jail is your family member or not your family member. But the ones going to jail sounds like at least one of them is your family member. So, you plug it in how it resonates. All right, love you guys. Namaste.